about 8.30, got back in the car and went over to the to the vet and um, went in there and the lady said, you can just go back, you all go back to waiting to, you know, uh, examining room B and the vet, vet will be right with you. Meanwhile, 25 minutes later, no vet has come in to examine room B and uh, TJ's getting squirmy and I'm like on the edge. I'm about to run out to the front desk and start pounding and saying, give my TJ his medicine. Uh, when the vet walks in, she's bubbly and cheery and smiling. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. I would have been doing better 25 minutes ago. Anyway, <clears throat> so I give her the history of what's been happening with TJ. And she goes, well, all right. And I showed her the spot on his side. And she said, oh, that's just a heat rash. I was like, wait now. T you know, because he'll pick, he'll get these heat rashes because, you know, he doesn't turn... I said, look, I have had this dog for two years, and I have never, this dog has never had a heat rash, never rubbed any hair off or anything like that, because I make sure he turns and changes positions, and yada, 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 and, uh, well, all right, let's just have a look at him, so she's, you know, he was, he was a little, uh, she took his temperature, uh, they jammed a little thermometer up his butt, and she goes, no, it's perfectly fine, temperature's perfectly fine. Uh, and I said, yeah, he doesn't feel warm today like he did yesterday. And he did take a little bit of water this morning. So maybe he's on the mend. She goes, well, we'll just see. So, um, we're going to have to, you know, give you some, uh, topical cream or something to put on these, uh, on the heat, uh, rash and stuff. And I said, I don't think it's a heat rash. I think a bug bit him or a snake or he's got the cancer or something. And she goes, well, I don't know about all that. I don't think so. So they examined him. She goes, now we're going to have to get a, a, um, a fecal sample so we can get this diarrhea under control. And I said, well, he you know, really hadn't had diarrhea since Tuesday night. Okay, and so she takes out this thing, this big wand about this big, and proceeds to lift his tail up and jam that thing up his anus. At which point, TJ looks at me, his eyes are bugging out like this. I opened his mouth. I thought I was going to see the tip of that thing coming out of his mouth. And he was, ooh, he started screaming. She goes, he doesn't really like that much. I said, well, you didn't lube it up or give a warning or count one, two, three, or nothing. I couldn't even get him ready for his first anal penetration. So she took it out and went back and tested. And she goes, well, it's got some blood on it. It doesn't have much fecal matter on it. I said, because there's none left in him. He shit it all out the other night. And he hadn't eaten since then. And the blood's on there because have you ever had anything shoved up your ass? Anyway, pardon my French. Um, but And if any kids are watching this, I'm sorry. Not my bad. But uh, so she goes, well, okay, and I'll give you some pills and we'll get that vomiting under control. And I said, you know, he really hadn't vomited ever since Tuesday night. All right. Well, he looks good. If you put this cream on there that I'm going to give you and give him these pills. And she gave him a shot. She goes, now this is to control the vomiting. And I said, you know, he really hadn't vomited in like two days. Uh-huh. It's going to burn. He's not going to like it. So she gave him the shot. He whined a little bit, but he took that like a man. I mean, after having, you know, been anally uh, uh, invaded, a little shot in the shoulder wasn't going to hurt him none. So I took him, took him, and she goes, just go back up front, and they'll have your meds up there for you. Okay. So I go back up front, waited, waited. 15 minutes later, the meds finally show up. I'm like, what is going, this place has had got two people in it. What is taking 25 minutes for me to get a, to see a vet, and then have to wait 15 minutes for some meds? In my other vet's office, they have that crap laying there on the table before you can get out front. Anyway. So uh, she, the lady figures up the bill. She goes, that'll be $162.50. I was like, excuse me? A hundred and what? I said, wait, let's just review the bill, shall we? She goes, well, you know, it's $40 for the, for the visit. I said, yeah, I understand that. And um, the shot for the vomiting is, uh, is $30. I was like, which he didn't need. And then the the rain the the rectal probe was another thirty dollars. I was like, you know, there's hookers over here on Greensboro do it for a lot less than that. Anyway, so I was like, fine. Although she didn't tell me 
or she didn't ask me if I wanted those procedures done. She just went ahead and did them and then just charged me for them. That is fine. I said, but we do not need these meds. I said, he is not vomiting anymore. His diarrhea is not, he's got, he's going to have a solid poop later today. I just know it. And, uh, I can go get some, you know, cortisone, uh, ointment over at the Walgreens for $5. So thank you very much, but no. So she took the meds off of there and it ended up being a hundred bucks. But anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much what happened on TJ's visit to the vet.